Okay, for 9b, uh, we have x over 3 minus 4. We're going to follow the same formula. We're going to do f of x plus h minus f of x. So this one, I'm just going to go right into the formula. For the previous one, I kind of did the f of x plus h off to the side, but if you wanted to put it all and do it in one step, you can do that as well. So for instance, f of x plus h, that would be x plus h divided by 3. And I'm, uh, it would be then minus 4. So you've got the original function with x plus h uh, put into it. So you need to make sure you do the minus 4 as well, because that's all part of the formula. You put a minus sign. The minus sign would be the one in the difference quotient formula there. And then you put x over 3 minus 4. That's going to be your f of x. And then all this is going to be over h. So the first part is your f of x plus h, the minus sign. And this part here is f of x. We can distribute the minus sign. So we're going to do x plus h over 3 minus 4 minus x over 3 plus 4. And all that's going to be over h. Now, in order to make this to where you can cancel out a little bit more, what I recommend in this one is this first part right here, x plus h over 3. What I recommend is that you split it up like this into two different fractions. Because both of them are being divided by 3, it's okay to split this up and write it like this. So x over 3 plus h over 3 minus 4 minus x over 3 plus 4. So I did that purposely because this way you can cancel out some more things. So the x over 3 and negative x over 3, that cancels out. Negative 4 and positive 4, that's going to cancel out as well. Notice that what we have left has an h in it. So again, every time you do these kind of problems for difference quotient, you're always going to end up with an h that you can cancel out down below. If you can't cancel the h out, that means you did something wrong. So all the ones, you should be able to cancel the h out on the bottom. So here's what we have left. We have h over 3, and we're dividing this by h. Now, if I divide by h, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to take the top fraction, multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom one, which again, I can write that as h over 1 if I wanted to. So h over 3 divided by h over 1 is going to turn into this the h's are going to cancel out and then my final answer this time I just get a number for my answer so in fact anytime you have something that is in a linear form so in other words if you have x raised to the first power then you're going to get just a numerical answer for that but if you have like an x squared or x cubed something like that then you're going to end up with an h as part of your answer but for this one for 9b it's going to, uh, one third will be your answer